morning show lañu wax good morning gambia nuy na ñepp ziyara len sargal len di len beggé ma téwat ci bir kër gi rek bu gëlé na jox yobalu bës mi ma guys ma nata ngoy rek ñam tamit ñun ñu yola tay ñu dugg ci waxtaan bi nuy na len ay nañ la ay chess mo toma ni ko waxé non la morning gambia good morning to the morning so i am gugo sana ndjay sahel network tv good morning viewers i am umar s diallo Mashallah mu ngok nine segment lañ amna bu gëtsé waxtaan rek bu ga yété jox leen yobalu bës bi ñu ñëké ci waxtaan bu ñëké bi muy social issue ma laaj la tomaté lan neex fok né lool lañuy gëna mëna tek ci table bi waxtaan ak suñu mbokki ñi sétan ankay lu mëna tek ci table bi bari na inshallah waye mëna ñoo staté ak suñu social issue bi nga xamné ni né pandémie bi yëngal na dé tabi honestly poverty lack of employment is troubling us let's try to pull us on it Mashallah. Mo vote bi mom mom xam nga moy lolu parce que Gambie ci ñu su opa société ten passen bi rek ñoo ñoo planon pour Covid-19 parce que ñu su dañ ko jotta dégg rek ñu dem shopping way suñu marché nga xamantene dañoo dem jaay ñu soga mëna jox suñu mbokk yi ñuy dund so lolu tamit soko sété nek na bu benen tolof tolof bu nit ñi doon di té nguur bi tamit ñu ngay gis na ñam tamit ñu ngi doon distribuer di dimbalé nit ñi amone tamit ñu geena tam di joxe ay salaku mala comme no xamantene na mëna dimbalé new di doole kon lolu tamit lolu la ibar dañ ci bay xel bu baaxa ba ma laaj ombar tamit mom la lan ci mëna sani ci walum poomati bi waye jëri jëf ay sa lolu amna solo ndax fum lañuy rew bi dafa bari yu ñaaka wa dafa bari yu ndool am nga ñaaka amna ndool amna kuy liggé wër bu ñu lay fay sa wër amo waye ñako waye ku ndool ku moy ku nga mëna amul lu tiyé te do mo bari ci do bi gambe nak li yaga na fi ana coronavirus pandemie bi dafa gëna fay ñaan waaw waye ndool bi yaga na fi da nga yëss ñu nga mëna ñëw liggé bis bu ne ñu ñoo stroke lo ci bis bi lool mom ñu ñoo dépasser suma lool just to demonstrate the level of poverty in gambia but this level of poverty will continue and we will suffer if we do change our attitudes so ñu say gambe tay since am independent up to date we are still food we are still don't have food in sufficient so essence of food is still a problem lu ko waral moy bayu lu ko waral moy ci jangul lu ko waral moy chopon bi where the people voluntarily because bay walu ñaaxa pour nga gëñe sa bopa lolu is self motivation la nekka because da ngay dega brigade def day wax ne he believe a person to be to, to be born poor but he did not believe on a person to die poor day poor so lolu rek moy presumption bobu non help bobu mindset bobu suko nit amé lool dina la gëna jappalé pour nga mëna am way dégg dégg pour wax dégg rek réew mi lu ñaaka lu ñaaka bari na people are definitely very poor and what lead to all this poverty is because people are not working and we live on our daily earnings exactly ñu laaj bu ba what are you gonna tell us about poverty well well uh poverty is 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 quite endemic in this country and uh great section of the population of this country are living below united nations <coughs> standard of poverty this is living below one dollar a day and uh we have seen poverty getting worse in this country when the coronavirus hit this country because we have seen so many people uh getting get, get, get getting set back from their businesses mm -hmm. we have seen women who are great winners of their family mm -hmm getting set back to their business because business are closed in the market even the small scale business aren't working anymore and also umar statement the, his quotation just uh reflect my conviction that poverty in this country cannot be eradicated although the government can try to alleviate it mm. though because uh if you look at the level of poverty in this country you, you would agree with me that it, it is it is constant in this country mm -hmm. and uh, we not seen any plan of action from the government to eradicate poverty mm -hmm. or to pick people out of poverty or we are they even prepared for it not at all it's just 10% i can say you, you only 10% of gambians uh try to at least go and buy their feedings to help their family way ñi nga xamantene ñoñu ñoy dem liggéey pour yobul seen wa kër yi dépense lool tamit xam nga ñoñu tam plan ñu ko won de ko nek ngur bi wala ñi dimbalé ci lool non ngur gi war nañ def lu bari hos li yeb lu ko gëna waral moy social injustice hos bala nga wax justice da nga wax social injustice social injustice moy inequality bu am within the society within the society so liggéey kay sa da ngay gis ne yow yaay def ay job but 
Kungama de ni yako kena def ligi bi. He is paid more. He is paid more than you. Lolo is social injustice. Police officer mo nakes traffic bi. So bengon mugi attack pollution. He is less paid than a police officer who sit at the office. I think what we can do about that is for the citizens to try and move what we call the low minimum wage salary provisions in our constitution or we can push it with the social security so that at least the workers right will be guaranteed at least uh, what you put in the labor mm -hmm. it, is, it could be recovered mm -hmm. you can get what you put in the work mm -hmm. yeah you are right but what happened actually is that um at some point you realize that the future is not promising because what has been in existence continue to be in existence mm -hmm. because the exploration of the poor by the elites continue mm -hmm. Since the other time up to date in the Gambia, it's only few that enjoy with their close associates. Mm -hmm. There are families that you have you realize that if your father was a minister, you end up being rich forever, or your family become better forever. That is just to say that the level of poverty with all this injustice that it have accumulated in, mm -hmm. like corruption, mm -hmm. nepotism. Mm -hmm. By looking at all those things, you realize that the Gambia it will be difficult to eradicate poverty. But when can folks come? Nini you want to do more? Nini you need to do more? For for them to help the poverty at least to decrease rather than to be increasing all the time. For me, the most the level of unemployment, youth unemployment. Yeah, I think if unemployment is curbed, that will go really far in order to at least alleviate poverty. For sixty-five percent of the country, Gambia's population are youth. Why is the fog in the year now? You see, we can't enjoy it. Of course, why not? You don't send help. You don't matter. Of course, why not? Majority of them. Buba, why are you saying that? Then very young, then very young. You very young, then you very young. Mhm. Mhm. Amna, you have not done any work. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. You just sit there and you don't do anything. To eradicate poverty, mm -hmm. have to start with the mindset. Mm -hmm. Every person should believe that believe he, should, he, he should have benefits in this country, mm -hmm. and he, should, he can be successful. That mindset has to be there, successful. Everyone should believe in himself. Mm -hmm. Because there is um, um, Kwame Kroma, there is, a, uh, there is a principle he always quote. He said, there is always dignity in labor. Mm -hmm. In whatsoever a person is doing, and it is about to dignify yourself, it is important. So the mindset to eradicate poverty, the first thing is the mindset. And the other thing is to try to eradicate the injustice that is happening. Mm -hmm. Corruption, um, some advocates are saying corruption kills more than malaria. Because That's the right. amount of money that Africa mm -hmm. loses on corruption alone, it can not be estimated. Mm -hmm. The amount of, 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 of money that People lose on nepotism, putting square feet in a round hole. That culture of injustice, if that is to continue, then um, poverty will continue. But we must have to first look at the mindset of the people, mm -hmm. try to make sure to make, it, make sure that youths um, are encouraged in believing themselves that they can be successful here. And any work that you are doing, you can be very successful about it. Mm -hmm. Those working at the market should equally see themselves as dignified people. Those in the office should actually see themselves as dignified people and as a God-given privilege. Because mm -hmm. there are people that are more competent than you. Perhaps they are not there, but it will be a God-given privilege. So we must get back to our senses. Let us do the work and stop the talking. Mungo, kama kama kaligi, buba aksi nini sisi chapanda, bima baya la lobo gona wakano nunga jeka likore, sulipere ni wache segment bija la chibene. Good, I just wanna mention that poverty and politics is an open-ended conversation and discussion. Speaking of corruption and poverty, even in Jawa's government, I think what we have seen, the role of poverty in our politics has been here since the first general election in this country in 1962, when we have seen the Gabba Jahum of Banjo yeah. mm -hmm. accused Peri Sarangyai 
of voter buy. He bought some of his supporters. He bought their voter card so that you know he gave them back office, for example, and seized their voter card. So why do they why do they sell their power, their voice? It's because of poverty. Mm -hmm. Do you blame them? No. Mm -hmm. If you go to my village right now, my grandpa. He don't care about his political right. If it's thinking of his roof when the rainy season is coming, mm -hmm. give him a back of us, he's gonna give you his water scar. So you see the dangers of, uh, of poverty sure. and how it could it, 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 it could be a determining factor in our politics. Mm -hmm. And and also, this is what the politicians are relying on to maintain their incumbency, for example. The government of Adam Burgo, for example can go to people and articulate how the bunkers suffer during the rainy season, how, they, how, how, how their rice fields should be, how they should be empowered, how their farms should be supplied with fertilizers. But will they do it? No. Mm. Because he will want to make the same points in the next election so that they can vote again. Even talking about the, um, corruption, you can take an example about the health minister from his last speech mm -hmm. about the, um, his officials duplicating names. Mm -hmm. And the other two soldiers too, who have to send the back, back surprise to not bank. Yeah, not bank. Send and then they, they sell it to a business businessman. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that, that is that, also a crap no, that, that, that's a local profile uh, which says uh, I don't know how to put it in Wolof, but in Mandika they say. I'm not going to put it. Let me put it in English. Uh, they say in Gos, yeah, in just to paraphrase it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to be the guidance of, of hell mm -hmm. and, you know, I die of cold, you know? Yeah. So if I'm going to guide hell, at least I'm going to get some lead, right? Well, yeah, sure. but, but, but you, don't, you don't give um, justification to corruption. We don't justify no. it. We don't justify it. We are just, we mention uh, labor, those proverbs, right? the exploitation of labor. Those, those proverbs are issue of necessity, mm -hmm. wherein you have no option than necessity. Um, even in law, is, is there as a defense. But corruption, mm. nepotism, you don't give those things as justification. Because what it will harm, perhaps the, the, you cannot realize it unless you understand how it works. Mungo, imagine like, imagine if, that, if, eh? if um, you put someone because of nepotism, that would be abuse of office. Because you can do anything that abuse you wish to power. do, mm -hmm. abuse of power, without being reported. And um, just to tell you, politics is very good. But Mr. Jalo, because Mr. Jalo, Mr. Jalo, of course, Jalo. politics is very good. But Mr. Jalo, <laughs> the, the point that you've missed is the fact that uh, when we talk about these issues, we are not trying to justify corruption. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, what inspired that corrupt practice? For example, you see this poor soldier walking, you know, and he snatch a bag of rice and take it to his farm in this hard time. Mm -hmm. It's a bad act. It's an evil act. He should not have done it, and he should be criticized for that. But what inspired it? For what? But, but, but it is, um, we, we placing high emphasis on the soldier. But remember that European Union has been supporting the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And that support, if you ask 100 Jews here, they will not even tell you where the support is going. But it's only those people that we emphasize, but the corruption exists. A piece of office exists. And it will be very difficult to eradicate it. So, even it will take I think time the off. people that should help responsible because um, when you are trying to help people responsible, look at the greater people that are involved great, greatly, they should be held responsible than the lesser one. Even though the lesser one should not be encouraged, but uh, if you look at how the, our administrative proceeding is going, mm. at a time you just need a, 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 someone to sign for you a document, you will meet the, the, the person who is assigned to do that work. By his mandate, speaking on food. Sometimes you even be discouraged to get into certain issues, to have approval from people. But that is just to say that um, we have a long way to go. But I think education also has to play a great role mm -hmm. to eradicate poverty. Because if you are educated, uh, you develop a very positive mindset. You become innovative, you become creative, and you will not be a job seeker, but rather, you might create employment. Good. Yeah. Mungok, leg accident. Ted, leg mune nyo MLFA segment bi, jail break duty, nyo at.